Another small SUV has hit the market. It is the Buick Encore GX. But wait a minute, the Buick Encore isn't new, right? Yeah, it isn't. The GX part makes it sound like a trim level, but this is actually an entirely different vehicle. GM is selling two Encores. Let's get behind the wheel with Harvey Briggs to try and figure this all out. So what have we here? We have the Encore. It's time for a Buick, Mark. <laughs> There's, a, there's already an Encore, isn't there? Yes, this is the Encore GX, which is a little larger than the Encore. So, you know, there's a little bit of name confusion potentially here, but uh, they're both small crossovers. If they're completely different vehicles, why don't they come up with a new name? When you have one name for both vehicles, they fall under the same category in the sales uh, number. So it might make it look like the Encore is a bigger selling model, even though it's technically two cars. A little confusing, but we're focused on the Encore GX. It's built on the same platform as the Chevy Trailblazer, has the same engine and transmission combos. There's a 1.2 liter engine paired with a CVT. The optional 1.3 liter engine is linked to a nine speed transmission in the all wheel drive system. A base front wheel drive Encore GX starts around $25,000. And it gives you a decent amount of equipment, but you can go all the way up to this premium trim level here, which has leather heated seats, uh, it has a leather wrapped steering wheel, all the technology that you expect from a premium crossover. Including a premium price. Our front wheel drive tester, a top of the line essence trim, stickers at around $34,000. And that includes just about everything, including self parking. You come up to a parking spot, drive by so the car can take the measurements, press the self park button and look ma, no hands. It's slow but it really works. Pretty impressive. So who's the market for the Encore GX? Competition for this is really like the Lexus NX, uh, which would be a small compact crossover like this. Uh, people might look at a BMW X1. Uh, I think those reach a little higher, especially when you start loading them up than these from a luxury standpoint. Uh, you might also look at a loaded RAV4 if you're looking at this. Although it's meant to challenge premium branded SUVs, the Encore GX doesn't quite make it. Buick is in a funny place because it does kind of slot in between the mainstream brands and the real premium brands when you look at Audi and Mercedes and things like that. They're leaving Cadillac to go over those people and they need to find a place for Buick. And you know, the challenge is always when you're in the middle, is there room in the middle? Ah yes, the middle child syndrome. And this middle child needs to appeal to a younger crowd. There is that old Buick stigma, you know, the old uh, image of it being driven by older Americans, but they're really trying to push this younger. And you can see with styling here that is uh, a lot more contemporary. It was that car you moved up to from Chevrolet. And, and now the divisions try to have their own independent um, image and, and GM is not relying so much on that old adage of, you know, a car for every garage and every wallet that they used to have. Harvey joins us now. Live is a sharp looking car. Yeah, I think styling on it is great. Um, overall, uh, general packaging on it is fine. Um, but it just kind of falls short to me in this category when you look at the 20 other options that are out there there are a lot of vehicles that it's competing with is the self park an expensive option and how long does it take for the car to park <laughs> it's itself? slow uh, yeah it, you know i could probably do it my you know i could do it myself probably twice as fast as it does it on its own um so if you're a confident driver and want to self-park, uh, you can do it quicker. But there are people who really struggle with parallel parking, and this is a great option for them. Uh, it's part of a trim package, so it's really hard to tell how much that feature costs specifically, but you have to get to the higher level trim to uh, get that feature. Student, Susan, Susan is interested in that feature. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I'm, it's kind well, of fascinating. It, it is available on a number of cars now. Right. It's not exclusive to Buick. Uh, so. Ridesanddrives.com for more information on the Buick and all the cars we test drive. Harvey, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Harvey. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Thank you.